Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss lead code question 1312 that says minimum insertion steps to make a string palindrome. So here in this question, we will discuss three different approaches and we will see that how these different approaches of string plus dynamic programming question are interconnected with each other. So if you know the approach of one of the solution or one of the problem, then you can use the same or similar approach to solve the another question. So guys, this will give you the overall understanding of the string plus DP question and will help you to solve more different question on the same topic. So yeah guys, stick till the end and watch all the three different approaches to get overall idea of string plus DP question. Now moving ahead in the question understanding part. So here you are given a string S and you need to make this string palindrome by inserting some of the characters at any index of the string. And we need to make the minimum number of step to make S a palindrome. So we need to insert minimum number of characters to make S a palindrome string. Right? And a palindrome string is nothing but a string that reads the same the front from the front as well as the back. Now guys, if you take a look at the first example, the given string Z, Z, A, Z, Z. So start looking from the front and the back at the same time. Both the characters match. Move forward. Both the characters match. Move forward. Both the characters match at a pointer forward and the backward pointer so yeah we can say that this is a palindromic string this is uh, itself a palindromic string now take a look here in the second example we keep one pointer here and another pointer here let's say uh, this is the i pointer and this is a j pointer okay both the characters match move forward right i pointer to here j pointer to here now afterwards here since the character mismatches this b is not equal to d so at that point what you can do is you can uh, insert the character so let's say you inserted this d here uh, let you inserted this d here okay so for that what you do you just decrement this j so now again so i will remain here only at b but since d is inserted at the front you decrement the j here now afterwards uh, again you see that b and a are mismatch so let's say this time you in uh, you inserted b here right you can do anything either do insert a here or you can insert b here right so yeah let's say you inserted b here so for that this time increment i from here to here so afterwards you can see that both i and j pointer uh, have the same character so yeah return true uh, the string is now palindrome and how many insertion we made two insertion we made one is this is the new inserted character and this is another new inserted character so yeah thus we inserted two characters okay now if you take a look at this example the character doesn't match at uh, this character this is at i this is j they don't match then so we need to insert one character so let's say i inserted uh, l here and increment i to here now i and j match this times so increment the i decrement the j again i and j doesn't match so for that let me insert again one character here and increment i to here again i is character t d and j is character d so there doesn't match so let me uh, add one character here and decrement j to here again t and o doesn't match so insert t here anywhere you can either insert t here or insert o here so since you inserted t here increment i now c and o doesn't match let us insert o here and make c uh, j pointer to here or that is decrement j pointer now both i and j pointer matches so yeah now we can say that this uh, final string that is l e e d t o c o t d e e l this is the final palindrome string as you can see all the if you did from the forward and from and from the backward the string is the same correct so now how many letters we have inserted here so uh, this first this l is inserted uh, this e is also inserted and then at uh, here we have inserted the o okay this t is inserted this d is inserted right this many characters that are five characters that we have inserted so the output is five so guys clear till here that what we will do is we will try to match the characters from the forward and the backward if the character mismatches we will try to insert now for the insertion we have uh, the choices right either to insert the character at the forward or at the backward so yeah uh, that we will consider in finding out the best possible answer or the minimum possible insertion right okay so so in this first approach approach one that we are discussing here what we have found out that we have choices when character mismatch 
see if the character matches then we have no issue then the string is uh, then the characters are a part of a palindrome string but if a character mismatch then only we have issue and then only we have to make some calculation or do some calculation and that calculation what we can do is see based on the choices we can uh, we can write a recursive solution right we can write a recursive solution based on the choices and we can further memorize it okay so let me again explain you what type of choices you have so uh, let uh, me assume uh, this type of some string b a c a okay so uh, initially this is the i pointer and this is the j pointer okay it is index let me also give the index 0 1 2 3 i pointer is at index 0 and j pointer at index 3 now since the character mismatches then we have to do something but uh, what we can do is we we can either insert a at the beginning or insert b at the end right so we have two choices so one choice will may give you string like this a b a c a and another choice will give you string like this b a c a b okay so if you insert a here right then i will be point to this only but j will decrement j will decrement here okay j will decrement to cc and if you insert b at the end then what you can do increment i here and j will point to the previous character that is a only okay got this now after this here again the character mismatches right then you have option to insert c at the beginning so it would be c a b c a and or b at the end that is after this j so it would be something like this okay now uh, okay this is one thing now here as you can see both the characters matches increment i and increment i and decrement j so i and j both are same right now this is what this is our answer how many insertion with one insertion only that is we have inserted b and now here uh, see after this point here there would be some insertion left because uh, i would be here only and now j would point to here now i and j again mismatches in this so some insertion required here required and that would be greater than one okay and here our previous j was uh, here see uh, and we inserted the character here okay so j will remain the here but i will point to the same i will point to this and j is here now here also some insertion require and the answer will be greater than one because one insertion is already done so the now the answer would be greater than one so yeah guys as you can see that uh, there are th things we have two choices and one of the choices can be efficiently give us the answer so yeah that we will consider in writing our code uh, okay clear till here now moving on to the coding part for this approach so let me show you the code so here guys uh, this was the call uh, minimum initiation call so uh, from uh, for that first i what did what is i created this memorization 2 ddp of size and, and uh, inside and minus one inside it and then call the solve function where uh, this is the recursive solve function okay now since i have told you that uh, to check for the given string is palindrome or not we have to keep two pointers start and the end right i and the j pointer the start pointer it is at a zeroth index and the end pointer is at the last index correct now this is our terminating condition that if a start uh, becomes greater than or equal to n then return zero right uh, so, so anything like it can be a c b so uh, so yeah initially i is here j is here now uh, is um, uh, is that uh, memorization of start and end means is the answer uh, already stored in this dp then return that as what we do as we check if the start of i equal equal to end of i if the characters are same no this is not the case this is not the case so we move on to the else part here so here we have choice as we discussed either to insert at the beginning so first choice is, is since the characters are mismatch what you can do you can insert at the begin the character or you can insert the mismatch character at the end so it can be something like this so if you insert at the begin that means this character b is inserted so we decrement the j whereas the i character will point to a or uh, the previous a only this only or if you insert at the end that means increment the i pointer but the j pointer will point to b only as previous right the same thing we are doing if you insert at the beginning then uh, decrement the j or you insert at the end then increment the i that same thing we have to do correct 
and then before storing inside our memorization 2d dp what we did we inserted one character at the end we inserted one character at the beginning right we choose the steps that is minimum right minimum of insert of end and minimum of insert plus begin and added one this is for the character that we are inserting in the current step right we are current uh, at, at both this right either you are inserting at beginning or the end the one character is inserted so for that we are adding one here okay clear till here so this will continue right this will continue until this terminating condition right this will also continue by two choices until you have i uh, equal equal to j if this is this condition is uh, hit then we will return zero because uh, that character is the same right so yeah i hope you have understood this uh, recursive plus memorization approach to solve this question where we have two choices either to insert the character at the beginning or to insert the character at the end so this is one approach okay this is one approach to solve this question now there is one another approach also to solve this question that is approach number 2 let's discuss about this approach number let's take approach 2 okay so in this approach what we have used is see there is something known as longest palindrome subsequence now what is this less, uh, longest palindrome subsequence so guys i have already made a video on the longest palindrome subsequence a few days back and this question was also a part of the daily challenge so on the uh, 14th of april uh, this question was a part of the daily challenge and i have uploaded this video so let me uh, quickly explain you what is this longest palindrome subsequence so if you are given any string like this b b a b so from this what is the longest palindrome subsequence b b b so in this longest palindrome subsequence what we do we either uh, so we consider a self subsequence that is palindrome so in a, what is a subsequence it is a sequence of a string uh, formed by removing some of the characters see in a subsequence the order doesn't change only you can remove some of the characters okay so if you have something like this uh then here one subsequence is bab and another subsequence is bcb so this question longest palindrome subsequence returns what it is the it returns the length of a longest palindrome subsequence right in a subsequence we uh, delete few of the characters to make uh, the string palindrome right so yeah uh that what that the same thing can can't we do here see Uh, here let's say for any given example if we are talking about this b a c a we are talking about this string b a c a so what is lps longest palindrome subsequence for this given string it is 3 because you can uh, create this string a c a that is a uh, that is already a palindrome right a c is already a palindrome so what is our answer here or what is the answer for minimum insertion so minimum insert is nothing but uh, length of string minus lps longest palindrome subsequence of s so length of string is here 4 minus lps is 3 so that is answer 1 so as you can see that one is our answer here so that same thing we can get here because in the longest palindrome subsequence we are taking just the six uh, just one, one of the subsequence of a string that is a palindrome and that is longest so yeah if you subtract that from the original string uh, the subtract the length from the original string then you will get the answer and that answer would be nothing but the minimum number of characters that you have to insert So yeah, guys. Based on this observation, uh, what we did is this is the same code of the longest palindrome subsequence I wrote, and at the end I simply subtracted the answer of this LPS from the total length of the string, and this will give the characters to be inserted. This will give characters number of characters to be inserted. So guys, clear till here. So if you have some idea of the about the longest palindrome subsequence, then what you can do is you can identify that longest palindrome subsequence from the given string. and subtract it from the length of the string and that will give you the minimum insertion so you uh, you can observe that both the equation the minimum insertion to make string palindrome and longest palindrome subsequence they both are connected right so if you would have idea of one of the approach then you can easily code for the second and the same thing here is with lcs so let me explain you what is lcs so lcs is nothing but no longest common subsequence longest common subsequence now using lcs what we can do is we can find lps using lcs what we can do we can find lps right so how we can do so longest common subsequence is nothing but uh, it takes two string s1 and s2 and find the com common characters between them or that is that uh, or you can say longest common subsequence so let's say uh, you have this same example b a c a 
A C A and another string you have A C A B. Okay. So from this, what is the longest common subsequence? A C A is the longest common subsequence, right? And that is nothing but a longest palindrome subsequence. So yeah, in this LCS function, where we have to pass two strings to find the common sequence between them, what we will do is we will pass the string S S string S and the reverse of string S, right? Because that is the statement of the palindrome. If you uh, loop the string S from the forward and from the backward, that is from the reverse. If you read the string in both ways, the it, it the palindrome string should be read the same from the forward and from the backward. So yeah, we, by using that concept or that observation inside this LCS function, we will pass the string S and the reverse of string S. Okay, and that will that will give you some result, some result, or you can say length. And uh, that length and that length would be equal to the LPS of a that would be equal to LPS of a string S. Okay, and yeah, as the concept remains the same. Once you have the LPS or the length of longest palindrome subsequence, and what you can do is you can simply uh, subtract this minus the size of the string. So this is uh, subtract LCS of S and reverse of string S. So yeah, this you will this will give you the minimum numbers of insertion of characters that is required to make the string palindrome. So yeah, isn't the equations are connected? If you know the LCS approach, then you can also write the LPS approach and also write the code for minimum number of insertion. So looking at uh, here, here this is the LCS code. So what we did is so firstly, firstly we took uh, S reverse uh, that is the reverse of string S, and we took this memorization approach and at the end what we do n is the size of the string and call this LCS function for on a string S and a reverse of a string. Okay. Now this LCS will check the same only one thing that if the characters are matching then move for forward if the character doesn't match then either insert one character in the string 1 or insert the character as a string 2 okay that is m minus 1 point m is a pointer of a string s1 and n is a pointer of string s2 so this is how we find the longest common subsequence between two string s1 and s2 right so yeah you uh, if you have some idea about the LCS then also you can write the code for this question so yeah guys that's all for this video now talking about the time and space complexity of all these approaches the time complexity uh, if you are writing a recursive approach it would be 2 to the power n because there are two changing variables at all the places see all the places there are two changing variables i and j here also start and end and here m and n so there are two changing variables so the recursive solution would give the time complexity 2 to the power n where n is the length of the string and if you write a memoize solution then the time complexity would be reduced to n square okay because the memoization 2d array would be a size of n square see n squared size so that uh, many times uh, you have to fill this uh, dp array so the memoization approach will take n square time complexity and the space complexity here would be uh, n square only plus recursive stack okay this would be the space complexity here also there would be some recursive stack uh, space complexity in the recursion, recursion approach right so by using some extra space we can reduce the time complexity that is nothing but a memorization so yeah guys that's all for this video uh, i will also link the video for lps that is longest palindrome subsequence in the description if you have any doubts in that question then make sure you watch that first and then move on to this question so yeah guys that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you